okay, did anybody happen to see Streisand on Oprah? Okay, it was heaven. First of all, you've got the two titans, right? You've got Oprah, Streisand. Both strong black women. It was, and they were like at each other the whole time, but sort of in that way, like where they had a smile on their faces, it was like a Mexican cockfight. All right. So first of all, the first thing I notice is that Oprah's on the wrong side of the stage, right? Normally Oprah is on the right, right? And the guest is on the left. Oh no, this time Oprah's on the left and Streisand is on the right. Now, I don't know if you know this, but whenever Streisand does a talk show, she makes them change the set around to her good side. And as much as I love Barbara Streisand, I love her. I had the Color Me Barbara album when I was a kid. I love the specials. I'm a huge super fan, but it's sort of funny to me that Barbara Streisand thinks she has a good side. All right, so anyway. <laughs> But I'm just saying, we're moving the set. Amazing talent. Okay. So anyway, they're sitting there, and then I notice that Barbara is in all ivory, right? Okay. As much as I love her, it was unbelievable to me how interminably boring she was. She was going on and on saying the craziest shit. First of all, she was doing this whole thing about how she now has her colors, and she can only have these colors, and she doesn't want these colors. My bedroom was... Pale blue with off-white, this color. And so the flowers that I planted outside this room could only be powder blue, white, off-white. And there were many pink touches, pink with the blue and white flowers. Okay, so Oprah can't resist f***ing with her, right? So then, oh, so great. So then Oprah turns the, to the, and, and Streisand says, you know, and I like powder blue and I don't like the color orange. So Oprah turns to the audience and she goes, ooh, girl, I'm glad I didn't wear orange today. And then Streisand goes, yeah, I'm glad you didn't, too. Oh, it's so great. I don't like the color orange, so there is no orange in my garden. I'm so glad I didn't wear it today. <laughs> me, too. I, I would have looked at told you funny. Me that. I'm so glad I didn't wear orange. Okay. Then Oprah decides to surprise Streisand, which you can tell Streisand hates surprises. And so does Oprah. That's what was great about it. And so... They go to this field piece, and she's like, well, we have a surprise today for Barbara Streisand. We tracked down her number one fan. Okay, so then they go, and you know she says that? John Travolta! Like that crazy. John Travolta! Like, what is she, at a football field somewhere? Okay, so anyway. She said, they tracked down the number one fan, so they find, and Streisand, you can tell, didn't know about this, and she's like, uh, not in control, not in control, and so. Take a look at how one woman wanted to create a lasting memory for her sister. Look at this, Barbara. So they go, and they track down her number one fan, and it's a woman with cancer, right? So they track her down in like a nail salon or something, and she's sitting there, and she's got the wig on and the jogging suit, because you know people with cancer, they love to wear jogging suits. Anyway, so, right? Okay, so she's in a jogging suit, and then they go in, the Oprah crew goes in, and they're like, you know, we're from the Oprah show, and we're gonna make your wildest dream come true. You're gonna come see Barbara Streisand! And the woman is crying, and I'm crying, and the woman's jumping up and down. It's great, it's fantastic. We heard Fran was getting a manicure with her sister, so we decided to pop in on her there. She had no idea we were coming. We're looking for Fran. Fran? Yes? Come with the Oprah Winfrey show. Oh my God. First of all, <laughs> these are for you. Your sister wrote us and said that you are a big Barbara Streisand fan. Yeah. You get to go see her. Ah, yes! Marilyn and Oprah and Barbara. So then they cut back to Oprah's show, and Oprah's kind of going like this, and Streisand's like this. <laughs> like that. Okay, so then the woman's in the front row. So they cut to the woman in the front row. Everybody's crying. Everybody loves her. She's waving. It's her dream come true. So then Oprah can't resist, right? Come on up here and get yourself a hug from Barbara Streisand! So she runs up. And Streisand kind of begrudgingly gets off her chair because it's not a good side. And then the woman gives her this big bear hug, right? And Streisand's kind of hugging her like this, like she might catch cancer. And then... <laughs> Meet Barbara. Friend, meet Barbara. Friend, meet Barbara. I'll come down here. How wonderful. Thank you. That's so true. Thank you for being here. Oh, my pleasure. I'm so happy. Thank you. I'll be right back. And 
the woman pulls away, and as the woman pulls away and takes her seat, you can see that the woman had accidentally, when she was hugging Barbara, gotten a little lipstick on her. Her ivory Donna Karen's. Let me tell you, the rest of the show, Streisand could not take her eyes off. She'd be like, well, I started this album because I wanted to. For the 50s, uh -huh. I mean, I'm not going to let it, like, shake no, me up. No, 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 okay. I don't think you should. Okay, thanks. I mean, that. it's wonderful also for people who are not in relationship. Yeah. Um... Okay, so finally, it's the end of the show, and now Streisand is going to sing. And that's what we're all in it for, right? Because she's cuckoo, but she's got the voice of a generation, and she's going to sing live, and it's great. Okay, so she sits down, and she's going to sing that song, Smile, from Modern Times, right? And it's beautiful, and it's pitch perfect, and she's Streisand. So she's singing it, right? And then there's slides behind her, remember this? Of her dead dog, right? Yeah, because apparently this entire CD was inspired by her dead Lasso Opsa. So, she's singing the song, and it's lovely, and then there's a giant slide of, like, the dog on the couch, the dog at the bowl, the dog on his back, and I'm like, Jesus, Barbara! Okay, so then she finishes the song, and I know she's all in ivory, and the microphone is ivory as well. Okay, so you know, remember? Okay, so you saw it, you saw it. Okay, so I love those last moments of Oprah when she has a musical guest. I love when she dances in the audience, because it's really bad and embarrassing, and she's just always like, she doesn't really know the lyrics, and she's trying to lip sync, and... You just, right? You're like, it's uncomfortable. And Oprah, you're embarrassing me. So. I couldn't have fathom that would ever be only thing for you. So anyway, she's doing that. And sure enough, Streisand finishes the song. And of course, it sounds flawless, right? And I love her and I'm loving it. There's about five seconds left of the show, right? So sure enough, Oprah can't resist. She's like, the great Barbara Streisand. And then she goes, she's like, girl, I got to ask you. Where in Chicago did you ever get a white microphone? Four seconds left of the show. And Streisand goes, I had them paint one of yours. Boom, show ends. Okay. Where'd you get a, a white mic? <laughs> it was a black mic last night. Okay, so you had the and mic more. sprayed. That's right. Okay, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Sure enough, a couple months later, I get asked to go on Oprah, right? So I get a call, oh, you know, you, do you want to talk about your plastic surgery again? I said, no, 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 I'm so sick about talking about that. Well, it's for Oprah, what time? Okay, so <laughs> I go to Chicago and I was all excited to just be there. I was excited to be in the Harpo building and I just wanted to see what she was like, right? So I go and I do my segment. <laughs> and so I had a, a brow lift and then I had, oh, I had the teeth veneers, which yeah. I love. And I tried to get a picture with her beforehand, and they're like, no. And so I go, and I do my segment, and I gotta tell you, she was very, very nice. But she does have this way of always kind of letting you know who's dominant. She's very alpha dog, right? And while she was extremely friendly to me, there was a moment, there was this one moment where she actually left her chair and came over and just humped me like this. <laughs> She had that look on her face, like, you know, did you ever see a dog humping another dog and they have the nerve to be bored while they're doing it? So I was like, Oprah, I know, you're the boss. So, it was weird. Okay, so anyway, I do my segment and I'm, I'm dying to get some kind of an impression of her, right? I'm thinking, I'm not leaving until I get some walk away with some kind of, I can think, like a window into Oprah. But everybody wants a piece of her. She's extremely guarded. I don't blame her, you know. So sure enough, it goes to commercial break. And the minute we go to commercial break, I turn to her and I go, I just got to tell you, that Streisand interview was off the hook. Without missing a beat. She goes, you know she painted my mic white. 